In our traditional story, we say that the sun is our father and then the, the earth is our mother. You know, stories go back to the beginning of time when the first twins were born and they had to make their journey to the sun. He helped them in return get rid of all the evilness that was going on on the earth. There are approximately 14,000 families on the Navajo Nation living without access to electricity. They lack basic infrastructure still. My name is Jay Begay Jr. I'm the Hard Rock Chapter President here at the Hard Rock Chapter House. This is the main chapter building. We help our community daily. Just because we're so remote, we try to make resources available for our community members you know, with the price of gas. You know, we try and keep things local here. The Hard Rock Chapter House is often also used as an emergency shelter because so many Navajo families don't even have heat for their homes. So when it gets particularly cold, they'll be able to come to the Chapter House to shelter. The Hard Rock Chapter has a long history in disputes over land and resource rights. Those fights with the coal industry have taken their toll on the community. Finding resources that would benefit the community as a whole is one of our primary goals. They actually asked for solar. So when Sonova said they were interested in partnering with Empowered by Light, this seemed like the perfect project. One of the main values we wanted to deliver is the ability to reduce the operating costs of the chapter house. As energy prices have continued to skyrocket in recent years, that becomes a strain on these facilities and limits their ability to, to serve their communities. The first benefit that the Hard Rock Chapter House will experience is immediate savings in their utility bill. Second, it's going to help accelerate the transition from coal to renewable energy while mitigating climate change. We underestimate the cost of power here at the Chapter House and sometimes we have to dig into other funds to cover that cost so having the solar is it's really good for us. We're committed to providing resilient, affordable, sustainable energy, not just to those single family homes that we serve across the country, but also for communities that are experiencing lack of reliable energy, like this chapter house here. So our, our goal was really to design a system that fits the needs of what this community is looking for, so that when the grid goes down, when the power's not here, this organization, this chapter, this community will have power. Generac's role in this project is to bring storage to a clean energy system so that when the grid goes down, the important items that need power can continue to have power, that we can continue to get water out of the ground, that we can continue to have light. This perfectly aligns with our 60-year mission of providing resiliency to homes and communities in times of adversity. When things are challenging, that's where Generac is. The addition of batteries allows for self-sufficiency in a way that solar alone doesn't. The community has the opportunity to, to learn that the addition of storage really extends the benefits of solar beyond just that daytime production. We really wanted to make this project support the community as a, uh, a refuge for those who wanted to continue their life uninterrupted and to be able to engage with their community members as they normally would. The Navajo, like so many Native American communities and indigenous communities around the world, have a special relationship to the sun. So in a sense it ties back to, you know, the solar that we get from the sun. You know, it's benefiting our community and our people as a whole.